Let us change your mind. KARK4, local news that matters. Witness News. Ron Sherman with the weather, Tony Warner with sports, and with the news, Carolyn Long and Ron Gardner. Or Eyewitness News Update. Good evening, a Southern Baptist conference. We interrupt our regularly scheduled programming for this News Center 4 special report. Happy talk. From the news center of Arkansas, KARK TV Little Rock, this is Eyewitness News. A massive manhunt is underway for the killer of a Missouri state policeman. I'm Carolyn Law. I'm Roy Mitchell. Hundreds of police officers are still searching for a member of the neo Nazi group this evening. They believe that David Tate is the man. This is your news station, News Center 4. From the News Center of Arkansas, this is Eyewitness News Tonight. Hart doing well, but Mondale doing better. I'm Carolyn Law. And I'm Bob Vernon. This is the second Super Tuesday of the Democratic primary. From the News Center of Arkansas, Eyewitness News Digest. Good afternoon to you. I'm Carolyn Long. The Eyewitness News investigation into the James Dean Walker case continues. We will tell you what became of a key witness who could not be found for the second Walker trial. No charges will be filed in the 21-year-old Marvin Williams murder case. The Faulkner County prosecuting attorney says there's not enough evidence to warrant charges. We'll have that story at 6 on Eyewitness News. Now this message. A civil service commission probe into the James Robinson shooting will resume in about an hour. Robinson was killed by a Little Rock policeman two weeks ago. Cramped quarters in a nuclear sub. We'll take a look on Eyewitness News at 5. It's cloudy right now in the Capitol and 54. Good afternoon to you. From the news center of Arkansas, KARK-TV, Little Rock. This is Eyewitness News Tonight. KARK-TV, Little Rock. And now, Arkansas's own Eyewitness News at 5. With Roy Mitchell, Carolyn Long, Tom Bonner's weather, Dave Woodman sports, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Good afternoon. Carolyn Long has the day off. Channel 4, KARK TV, Little Rock. And now, Eyewitness News Tonight with Roy Mitchell, Carolyn Long. Weather from Tracy Douglas, Steve Sullivan Sports, and the entire Eyewitness News team. And good evening to you. There are rumors tonight that Kansas Senator Bob Dole is about to get out of the Republican race for president. From your 24-hour news and weather source, this is Arkansas's only Emmy Award-winning newscast. Channel 4 Eyewitness News. The Pulaski County School District slashes millions from its budget. But will it be enough for the district to survive? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sonia Dina. I'm Doug Crowell. Steve Barnes is off today. Now, this is Arkansas's 24-hour news and weather channel. 
live on News 4 at 5. The space shuttle Discovery will be spending more time on Earth before blasting off on a controversial mission. Now, this is Arkansas's 24-hour news and weather channel. Live on News 4 at 5. This is Arkansas's 24-hour news and weather channel. Live on News 4 at 6. Now, this is News 4. This is News 4, where the news comes first. You're watching Arkansas's News 4, KARK-TV, with Bob Clawson, Deanna Durante, and meteorologist Mike Nico. This is News 4 at Sunrise. Shopping day of the year. This is News 4 at 5, where the news comes first. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a special holiday edition of News 4. I'm Denise Whitaker. And I'm Ken Bates. Thank you very much for being with us this evening. Watching Arkansas's News 4, KARK-TV, with Denise Whitaker, Ken Bates, and meteorologist Michelle Lee. Now, this is News 4 at 5. Texas A&M upset its... Ar You're watching Arkansas's News 4, KARK-TV, with Betsy Pilgrim. Steve Barnes, meteorologist Michelle Lee, and sports with Carlton Wing. Now, this is News 4 at 6. Some news tonight about Little Rock's plans for a New Year's Eve. Coming up in sports. This is News 4 at 10, where the news comes first. Good evening, everyone. I'm Denise Whitaker. And I'm Ken Bates. Thank you for tuning in to News 4 at 10 tonight. You're watching Arkansas's News 4, KARK-TV. With Denise Whitaker, Ken Bates, meteorologist Michelle Lee, and sports with Carlton Wing. Now, this is News 4 at 10. Two Oklahoma State Troopers got caught in the middle of a major shootout. Watching KARK 4 with Sarah Zapp, Kent Bates, and your morning forecast with Mike Francis. This is News 4 Arkansas today. Good Monday morning, everyone. Welcome to News. You're watching KARK with Denise Whitaker and Bob Clawson. This is News 4 Arkansas at 6. From KARK 4 with Denise Whitaker and Bob Clawson. This is KARK 4 News at 6. The price tag to study duck migration stands at 250000 you're watching KARK News 4 Arkansas at 10. Fire. You're watching KARK with Denise Whitaker and Bob Clawson. This is News 4 Arkansas at 10. If you fly at all, you know about security changes with major... Your neighborhood forecast with Chief Meteorologist Brett Cummins and Perella Lewis. This is Weather for Arkansas. And welcome back to Weather for Arkansas. Some much anticipated rain. ARK continues with sports from Mark Rushing. This is Sports for Arkansas. Welcome to Sports for Arkansas. Now, updated, local, relevant to your family. This is KARK for today. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to KARK for today. It is 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm Matt Mosler. And I'm Melissa Seamus. So glad to have you with us this Tuesday morning. It is from You're watching KARK 4 News Today with Matt Mosler, Melissa Seamus, meteorologist Harry Bounds, and Tracy Douglas. You're watching KARK 4 Today with Matt Mosler, Mallory Harden, and Chief Meteorologist Mike Francis. Now, the morning newscast you can count on. Updated news, developing stories, and weather on the fours. This is KARK4 Today. This is KARK4 News at noon.
You're watching KARK 4 News at Noon with Mallory Harden, Chief Meteorologist Mike Francis, and Tracy Douglas. Now, the newscast you count on to be in-depth, investigative, and to be a part of your community. This is KARK 4 News at 5. You're watching KARK 4 News at 5 with Jancy Sheets, Melissa Simas, and meteorologist Brett Cummins. Now, from KARK 4, your weather authority, meteorologist Brett Cummins. What once was Tropical Storm Bonnie brought rain and gusty winds to South Florida as it made now, the newscast you count on to be in-depth, investigative, and to be a part of your community. This is KARK 4 News at 6. You're watching KARK 4 News at 6 with Bob Clausen, Jancy Sheets, meteorologist Brett Cummins, and sports with Carrie O'Hara. The newscast you count on to be in-depth, investigative, and to be a part of your community. This is KARK 4 News at 10. Now, the newscast you count on to be in-depth, investigative, and to be a part of your community. This is KARK 4 News at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Melissa Seamus. Tonight, two... Now, from the station focused on what's relevant to you and your family, this is KARK 4 News at 10. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Jane Z. You're watching KARK 4 News at 10 with Bob Clausen, Melissa Seamus, meteorologist Brett Cummins, and sports with Carrie O'Hara. You're watching KARK 4 News Weekends with Jessica Dean, meteorologist Greg D, and sports with Jason Snavely. Now, the morning newscast you count on. Updated news, developing stories, and weather and traffic on the fours. This is KARK 4 today in high definition. And a good Thursday morning to you and welcome to KARK 4 today. I'm Mallory Harden. And I'm Wendy Suarez. Thanks for waking up with us. Coming up in this half hour, back with family. Two Americans arrested and detained in Iran are now free and out of that country. We have the very latest for you. Coming up, a mother killed, police say, by her boyfriend. Find out how they say social media helped them solve the case. Plus, drama at a daycare. Why does Zora want to care? Why, why, was, why was my child running into traffic? A mother upset after she says her toddler walked out the door of the daycare. We're going to take a look at the surveillance video to see how it all played out. And taking a trip to the Big Easy has, well, never been easier. More on a new airline with a new direct flight to the melting pot of the South, New Orleans. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK 4 News at 5. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 5 on Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Ketz. A man arrested in the murder of a North Little Rock woman appears in court for the first time today. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK 4 News at 5. We begin tonight with breaking news. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Jessica Dean. Hello. Good evening. I'm Bob Clausen. It's good to have you along. New information coming out in the recent arrest of Saline County Sheriff. This is KARK 4 News at 5 in High Definition with Bob Clausen, Jessica Dean, and Chief Meteorologist Keith Monahan.
now from the station you count on in-depth investigative part of your community this is k-a-r-k four news at six never saw that child when she wasn't happy. Now, from the station you count on, in-depth investigative coverage of today's biggest stories, this is KARK 4 News at 6 in high definition. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Jessica Dean. Now, from the station you count on, this is KARK 4 News at 6 in high definition. You're watching KARK 4 News at 6 with Bob Clawson, Jessica Dean, Chief Meteorologist Keith Monahan, and Sports with Carrie O'Hara. From the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK 4 Today. Good morning, everyone. We have now covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Good afternoon. It's great to have you with us for Arkansas Today. I'm Mitch McCoy, in for Aaron Nolan. In just one month, the Arkansas School Safety Commission's report is due to the governor. On Wednesday, members met with the public to talk about ways to prevent school shootings. Most of the speakers represented Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Also now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, and the home of the 2018 Winter Olympics, this is KARK4 News at 4. The popular music festival, River Fest, is now from the station you count on for local news that matters. This is KARK4 News at 5. And we've got some breaking news. Arkansas's attorney general has asked the governor to set an execution date for a death row team. Arkansas News That Matters starts right now. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters and the home of Super Bowl 52 and the 2018 Winter Olympics, this is KARK4 News at 6. There are no secrets that we have strained relationships in many of our uh, minority communities that uh, have... Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK4 News at 10. Good evening, everyone. We're tracking a few breaking news stories coming just into our newsroom. A couple of them to bring you up to speed on Little Rock. Police are actually currently working two matters. This is KARK4 News at 10. A prominent Little Rock man who is well known throughout Arkansas for his philanthropy was laid to rest on Friday. Good evening and thank you for joining us on KRK4 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Stephanie Sharp. As Ron Robinson's family was grieving, his longtime Hillcrest home was broken into.